Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be looking at animating layer masks to create some video effects. Let's jump in and see how we get on. So here I am in Photoshop, and I've opened my video file, and it's gone into my timeline, and put the video into what's called a video group. All that's done automatically, didn't have to worry at all about that. What I do want to do is cut this down a bit though. If I come across to my timeline and grab this, the playhead as it were, and move it across, you can see it takes quite a long time for the train to get into the station. What I'd like to do is maybe start when the train is underneath that bridge there. So I'm going to go and grab the beginning of this clip, click down and start dragging, and you can see that I can see where my in point is going to be. So that's quite helpful. So I want to come, let's go about to here-ish. There we go. Now let's put that all the way to the beginning of the timeline now. Let's trim off the end here. So I go backwards a bit. And okay, we'll let the steam train go out, get that gentleman out of shot, and there we are. Good. I'm going to zoom into the timeline a little bit now. Right, let's go and have a look and see what's going on down here. If I just scroll this up a little bit and then twirl open this layer, you can see that I can animate several things on here including the position of this layer, the opacity of it, and the styles. And they're layer styles. But I don't want to do any of those to this layer at the moment, but I wanted to see what was there. What I do want is a background. So I'm going to go over here. I've got a background image here from Photolia, and I'm just going to click and drag that across, and then drop it down onto my video. Let's make that smaller again so we can see what's going on. Now, although it's on top of the video, you'll notice I can't actually see it. And that's because it's inside the video group, which means it's gone at the end of this clip. There it is. But I actually want it underneath this clip. So I'm going to click and then drag it down. And it comes outside of the video group and has its own layer. Let's go and find it. There it is. Let's twirl this closed for now. And I can just drag this now into place. Good. So now I've got that in place. I might want to put some words on there. Let's just take off the visibility of this layer so we can see what's going on. Actually, let's uh, resize that while we're here. Command or Control T, Command or Control Zero to fit everything on screen. And then I can bring these down, something like that. There we go. Let's move this across so that nice bright bits on the side there. Click and tick. And then Command Zero to bring it back full screen. Might zoom out a little bit there. There we go. Right, let's put some words on. So I'm going to go and get my text tool and I'm just going to very quickly type Neen Valley Railway. Right, put that into place. Sort of down there a bit. And there we go. Now everything's in place. However, when I put this back on, we can see that that's covered that up. So we're going to need a mask. Let's click on layer one, which is my video footage, of course, and then make a mask. Now I'm going to go and get my gradient tool and make a gradient mask. So around here, I think it's going to work well. And just click and drag it across. And that reveals our title down the corner there. All right. Now, of course, I want to animate this mask. So the mask comes on, reveals the text and the background, and then moves off again. I'm going to unlink this from the layer itself. So you can see I've got a link between the video footage and its mask. If I click on that, it will now disappear. If I hadn't have done that, then if I move the mask, the layer will move with it and vice versa. So let's go back down into the timeline here. If I twirl open video group, you can see that I've got two new options. I've got layer mask position and layer mask enable. I'm going to keep the layer mask enabled all the way through this. I'm just going to animate it. So I'm going to come up to one second ish. There we go, about one second. And tell it I want to animate it. So layer mask position and click on the stopwatch. And this tells Photoshop this is going to be animated in some way. But right now is where I want it. And you'll see that it puts what's called a keyframe, this nice yellow diamond shape. Right, let's move back. Move the playhead back to the beginning. And now I'm going to move the layer mask. So I'm going to make sure that the layer mask has those white lines around the corner. 
and then I can just click down with the move tool, of course, click down. I'm gonna press shift just so I keep it in a straight line and I can move it across until it gets out of shot. There it is, and click. Now I've already got a keyframe automatically set up by Photoshop for me because it knows now that that's where I want the mask to be. So now it's going to fill in the difference between where I want it to end up and where it's gonna start. And I should have that wiping on quite nicely. There it is. I'll play that. And there it goes. We've made a very simple title sequence for my video. Now, If I want that to speed up a little bit, because it does come in quite slowly, I might want that to speed up. All I have to do is make sure that these two keyframes are closer together. It has to do the same movement, but in a shorter space of time. So it has to move it quickly. Let's go back to the beginning, press play. And there it is, comes on. Now I want it to go off now. So I'm going to add a keyframe and say, okay, up until that point, keep it there. But then when I get to here, I want it to be off screen again. So again, I'm going to click and drag this off. So there we go. Let's press play. On it comes, stays there, goes back off again. As easy as that. Now we can do all kinds of things with keyframes and we'll probably explore more of them here on tipsquirrel.com in the future. But for now, that's an introduction to animating layer masks using keyframes. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.